You know, gravity is this all-encompassing, ever-present, and almost oppressive force of nature. It's all around you, constantly weighing you down, and it affects every single being and thing in literally the entire universe. Unlike air, which isn't even a product used by every single thing, gravity well and truly is something that affects us all. There's even this really common misconception that gravity can't be experienced in space, and that's false. There is some in space, it's just that reception is still being set up. Gravity is 13 13.7 billion years old, and much of the gravity you're experiencing today is very much the same gravity you'd experience 13.7 billion years ago as well, which is pretty impressive. You know, even Coca-Cola, one of the most successful recipes in existence, has undergone a couple changes along the way. And yet, for a product such as Gravity, with such wide-reaching and present effects, there are shockingly few, if any, reviews. So, I want to take a look at Gravity and give it an honest and critical evaluation so that you, the consumer, can make an informed decision on whether or not this is a product you want present in your life. As a quick overview for those of you who are perhaps unfamiliar with gravity and its effects, gravity is a natural phenomenon in which all things that have mass or emit some kind of energy are brought towards each other. Uh, it's been responsible for huge hits like the Big Bang, um, Earth's orbit, as well as being able to eat and containing our atmosphere so we can breathe and continue to function. I have to admit, going through gravity's portfolio, there are quite a few things to enjoy and appreciate. I think the most obvious thing to admire about the force of gravity is how it's able to hold us down on our planet, notably Earth, and will no doubt continue to do so as we explore our galaxy. Moon landing? Yep, gravity was there for us. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe it wasn't as powerful as we experience here on Earth, which could be perceived by some as flakiness, but gravity came, gravity showed up, where were you during the moon landing? Definitely not the moon. This is a huge point I've seen being thrown around in the gravity discourse. Oh, wow, gravity won't be as strong when we step foot on Mars. Wow, gravity isn't as strong on the moon. Chill, okay? It's only like gravity is trying to be in every single place in the universe at every single time. I feel like this just highlights an issue that's present in our current society, which is that we expect too much from everything. Don't be spoiled. Gravity is it's doing what it can, and the fact that it's even holding us down on Earth is a miracle in itself. Let's also acknowledge how gravity is responsible for our development as a species. The way our esophagus delivers food into our stomachs is aided in part by gravity. Our skeleture, our muscles, uh, they developed as a way to resist gravity, if you will. Gravity has always been behind the scenes, pulling the strings, much like a quiet but genuinely supportive parent that never claims credit for their accomplishments. These are huge, huge parts of the human experience, and were it not for gravity, certainly something we would have not experienced ourselves. Lastly, I'd like to touch on things falling, which is a hugely underappreciated thing that goes on in our world. Uh, take a look at your filthy desk. All those papers piling up that you said you'd work through are only sitting on your desk because of gravity. So uh, think of everything on Earth as being in a perpetual state of falling. Um, all your desk is doing is existing in a perpetual state of catching the things that are falling. Um, and this makes it really easy for us to organize things and keep things near us and not floating around. So big points there. Going into the negatives, I'd like to touch on things falling, uh, which is extremely unsafe. Gravity, for better or worse, has done a very good job of making this planet very dangerous for us. Trees can fall, rocks can fall, buildings can collapse, even Earth itself can fall, uh, creating sinkholes. And it goes without saying that this is not good. This also applies to us, as we are technically in a constant state of falling, and the only reason we aren't sinking through the earth to meet a fiery end at its core is because dirt happens to be firm enough for us to stand on. Um, but this makes life pretty dangerous for us when we step on things that aren't firm, like water or marshmallows. I'm also not a huge fan of gravity's tendency to create potentially world-ending black holes in space that could collide with our planet, thus ending civilization as we know it. I just feel like, why, do, why did we need this? Is this really beneficial to us? Who is this serving? I think I would definitely send this aspect of gravity uh, back to the drawing board for reconsideration. This is actually a great time to touch on another thing I don't like about gravity, which is that while yes, I certainly appreciate gravity keeping me tethered to this planet, does it really need to be so strong? Uh, could we not just have been able to enjoy 
maybe just a bit less gravity so we could jump really high and that would be cool. So with everything considered, uh, the pros and cons being weighed, I'll say this as a concluding remark. Uh, like everything, everything in moderation. Does gravity in moderation? Yes. Does gravity also black hole? Yes. I say 7 out of 10?